Hey guys, Nathan here, and it's time to talk about the stock market. If you wanna get really good with money and investing, then you need a really good understanding of the stock market. It's been called a machine for compounding wealth by one millionaire investor. If you know who that is, then post below in the comments. But what exactly is a stock market? And what's the difference between a stock market and a stock exchange and a stock index? And how exactly does a stock market work? This is some of the things we'll be covering in this video. In a couple of days, we will be doing a dedicated video on stocks and shares themselves. But for now, this video is just the big picture of the actual stock market. You will be learning a quick history of the stock market, the difference between a stock market and a stock index and a stock exchange. Also, for some fun, we're gonna look at some of the most famous stock market crashes of the last 100 years. By the end of this video, you will know more than 90% of the population on the stock market. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button. That would be mucho apreciado. Okay, sit back, relax. Here is everything you need to know about the stock market. So what exactly is the stock market? Well, it's everything to do. So it's all the stock indexes, the portfolios, the dividends that they offer, the corporations, ETFs, stock brokers, stock exchanges, stocks and shares investing. The stock market is basically everything to do with the stock market. How big is the stock market? Let me just draw up a chart here. And on the left hand side, we are working in the trillions of dollars. And below, we're gonna look at the size of the stock market compared against bonds, gold, and also cryptocurrency to give you a bit of perspective. Let's start with bonds. The bonds are a hundred trillion dollar market. Stocks. Stock market is a 70 trillion dollar market. Okay, how big is the gold market? Yep, that's about it. So gold is only just over one trillion. And cryptocurrencies, how big is crypto? Yep, if you can just see that tiny little blue sliver, that is literally how big the cryptocurrency market is compared to stocks and bonds. So that in itself is actually quite interesting. The world's first ever stock exchange dates back over 400 years to a little courtyard in Amsterdam. The year was 1611 and the first ever stock to be issued by a company to the general public was by the Dutch East India Company. This is the first earliest known book on stock trading itself. So it's by Joseph de la Vega and it's Confusion de la Confusions. And this book on stocks dates back to 1688. What is a stock? A stock represents the fractional ownership of a corporation and the units of stocks, this is what are called shares. Here's an example. So this company is gonna issue a million shares onto the stock market at $1 per share. And we've got a nice guy here, he's looking to buy some stocks, he's got $10. So with this company, he's able to buy 10 shares and he's very happy with himself. So why do businesses issue stocks onto the stock market? Well, there's basically two main reasons. 
The first one is that it's a big payday for the owners. So if you've started a business and you've spent the first five to 10 years building it up, you can now issue stocks onto the market, a little share of, of the company, and get a big payday. Exactly, cha-ching. And the other reason is for the business itself. So if you, the business can raise capital, which it can then use to grow the business even further. Let's start with stock exchanges. A stock exchange is simply a place where you can buy and sell shares. And this is also known as the secondary market. The primary market is the business's founders who initially sell the shares of the company into the market. The stock market is made up of millions of buyers and sellers from all around the world. There are approximately 60 major stock exchanges and there's 16 of them that have a market cap of over 1 trillion each. So let's cover the six biggest exchanges all around the world, starting with the New York Stock Exchange, and the market cap of this one is 23 trillion. Next, the NASDAQ, market cap 10 trillion. The London Stock Exchange, market cap 5 trillion. We have the Japan Exchange Group, market cap 5 trillion, Shanghai Stock Exchange, market cap 4 trillion, and the Euronext, market cap 4 trillion. So what is a market index? Because it's hard to track the performance of every single stock, a very clever man by the name of Charles Dow in 1884 created the first stock index. A stock index basically groups a section of the stock market together and then tracks the performance as a group. This way you can actually track the stock market as a whole. So let's take a look at some big stock market indexes. The first one we're going to look at is called the S&P 500. It tracks the performance of 500 large companies listed on the stock exchanges in the United States. So a lot of people will look at the S&P 500 to track the American stock market as a whole. And it was founded 63 years ago in 1957. This is the Wilshire 5000. And again, it's the US. It's the five top 5,000 companies based on market capitalization. And a lot of people will look at this one instead of the S&P 500 because it includes a lot more companies. So it's 5,000 American companies. So people will look at this as the entire US market. In the UK, we have the FTSE 100. It's also the Financial Times Stock Exchange, referred to as the FTSE. And this is the top 100 companies on the London Stock Exchange. The concept of the stock market is actually quite simple. Think of it like a big auction house. It starts like this. Companies will list their shares onto the exchange through a process called an initial public offering, also known as the IPO. And this is the primary market. Investors can then buy and sell their stocks and shares amongst themselves. This is the secondary market. The price is determined by supply and demand. The buyers will offer a bid, or basically the highest amount they're willing to pay. Sellers will set an ask, which is the price they are willing to sell. And the difference between the two is called a bid-ask spread. Now, when both parties agree on the same price, the stock is exchanged. And that is a stock exchange. Simple. We're first going to look at the big crash of 1929, which then went on to launch the Great Depression. So you can see the actual run-up started in 1920. 
and there was a big run up for about 10 years where people were getting involved in the stock market, getting involved, making loads of money, thinking this is easy, getting involved, telling their friends and it bid it up all the way up to 1930 and then a very famous crash where it came down all the way 89% drop which wiped out thousands and thousands of investors and it took you can see it didn't come back to the highs until 1955 which is an enormous amount of time so stocks pretty much died for a decade or two another famous crash was in 1987 and this one is referred to as black monday and this one goes on record because it dropped 23 percent in one day so again you can see there's always a big run up for quite a few years and then literally in one day a 23 percent drop there was a very famous crash in the year 2000 this was the internet.com crash and you can see it's starting from about 1990 so the internet is really taking off everyone's starting to get involved with these tech companies uh, more and more people are buying these dot-com domains pets.com insurance.com everything's getting speculated everyone's jumping in jumping in the herd rushes in right at the last minute and then from peak to trough it was a over a 50 percent crash obviously since then it has recovered and set all-time highs but this was uh, notably one of the big crashes and finishing up with the 2008 global financial crisis so this one actually nearly ended the whole financial system and this is when Lehman Brothers went down and you can see always starts with quite a few years of a big run-up and then big sell-offs huge drop um, from peak to trough it actually dropped over 54 percent before recovering so now you know a lot about the stock market you know when the stock market was created how a stock market works what a stock exchange is what a stock index is even the major crashes of the last 100 years like i said you now know more than 90 percent of the population in a couple of days i will be doing a whole video on stocks and shares themselves so be look out for that one if you like this video be sure to click that like button if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe and if you've got any questions any comments on the stock market then just post them below this video okay cheers guys i'll see you in the next video bye for now